Hello, beloved church family. Praise God. Just another evening in worship service. Hallelujah. Praise God for eternal breath. Amen. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. And I am so thankful, as always, just to be a mouthpiece for Holy Spirit to just speak through. And in a moment, we're going to open up in prayer. I just wanted to say thank you so much. Praise God. Thank you so much for your heart of worship, for blessing God the way you do. Hallelujah. The way you do. To allow his presence to bless you and to bless your spouse, right, your your, your family, amen, everybody at your job place, your workplace, and our community, and praise God, we thank God for healing this land, amen, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, praise God, oh, hallelujah, let's just give God praise, amen, well, praise God, our worship service this evening is titled Healing, amen, say that word with me, healing, hallelujah. Now, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, God's word, amen, God's word, his name is Lord Jesus Christ, amen, hallelujah, healing, there's so many of us, amen, come on beloved children of God, there's so many of us that right now we're just thanking God for the healing anointing to fall upon the temple from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. There's so many of us that are, that are standing in the gap interceding. And it's only through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ that Holy Spirit right now, just speak out their names, amen? Just speak out their name, just healing over their body, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father, for healing your land, for healing your church, Father. Thank you for healing my body, Father God. Thank you, Father. Healing over Trish, Father God. Thank you, Father God, healing over your entire church, Heavenly Father, and Sister Faith, Father God. Thank you, Father, for healing over Brother Gene, Father God. Thank you, Father, for, for healing over Brother David and healing us, Father. Thank you for healing Brother Jimmy, Father God. Thank you for healing, Father God, Sister Rosie and their family, Father. Thank you for healing. See, there's a physical healing, hallelujah, that Holy Spirit is doing right now through many of us in Jesus name there's a there's a healing a physical healing anointing there's also spiritual anointing the Holy Spirit right now is 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 praise God just healing people spiritually amen and glory to God whether it's through a conviction as far as father I, I just I need to come back I've fallen away I need to come back amen or, or, or whether it's unforgiveness of some sort right of bitterness something that something that the enemy has done to us. Remember, people are not our enemy, amen? The enemy is Satan himself, amen? C come on, church, amen? People are not our enemy. Though the devil may use people to hurt, right? To hurt us, to do evil things. But remember, there's a devil, right? And then hallelujah, there's God Almighty, amen? Don't you love that painting? I love that painting. Hallelujah, that's on that glorious day. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I cannot wait for the trumpet to go off. Praise God. And as you notice, we're in a different um, area in our beloved sanctuary. And praise God, Holy Spirit's just having so much fun. And that's all we want to do is bless Holy Spirit. Amen. Be thankful. Rejoice. Hallelujah. And speak. Say with me, speak life. Amen. And that's all we did right now in opening. I know we haven't prayed yet. Praise God. But guess what? Our life should be a prayer unto God. Amen? Our life. Amen? I pray that uh, you have faithfully been in our worship service, been engaged. Amen? Last time I checked, engaged is, right? When gears engage, when it's an interlocking. Praise God. It's a relationship where I'm one. Hallelujah. I'm one with you. Amen? Say with me, I'm one with you, Father God. Hallelujah. And, and I pray that you have been faithfully engaged. You know, not just on Sunday mornings. And praise God, we're so happy to see all God's beloved children coming back into, into physically, right, making the sacrifice. Making the sacrifice. Did God not sacrifice everything on that cross for us? Amen? Amen? So what makes a beloved child of God think that there is no sacrifice, that we have to come together? We have to. 
in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, if Jesus Christ is your Lord, then Holy Spirit in you, Holy Spirit in you is saying, you are the body of Christ and you need to come together, amen? Faithfully engage. And hallelujah, hallelujah, I'm so happy, amen, that we have Sunday mornings to look at one another, to, you know, even though we can't hug and, and kiss on one another, but just to, just to wave at one another, right? And just to look at one another and you could see, you know, for those of us who wear masks and those of you who don't, but you could see, you know, Holy Spirit all throughout, amen, all throughout a beloved child of God. And this is how God wants to bless us with this fresh anointing in this new season and all the miracles that are taking place and healing. Say that with me again, healing, hallelujah. Let's, let's do gooder and gooder, say it with me, I am healed, hallelujah. And it's in Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, I am thankful, Father, for all of eternity, Father God, for who you are. You are God Almighty, good, perfect, merciful, forgiving, kind, loving. Everything good and perfect is you, Father God. And Father, you demonstrated your goodness, your mercy, when your word became flesh. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the word of God. You are God, Alpha and Omega. Lord Jesus Christ, you left heaven to come to this fallen world to save me, to heal me. Say that, beloved church family, to heal me, to save me, to redeem me, to live in me. Hallelujah. And Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for all of eternity. And as we lift up your holy and precious name, the name above every name, we thank you that Holy Spirit, your presence, your presence is all we want. Your eternal presence, Holy Spirit, you know us by name. Holy Spirit, you know Open Arms Community Church is your church paid for through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. That agape, you reign, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. This is your holy place. We are your holy children. This is your holy generation, Father God. And Father, I know who I'm speaking with. So Father, I ask you to bind up my mouth, rebuke me, Father, that I am a, an obedient mouthpiece for you, Lord. You are our only teacher, Holy Spirit, and we bless you. And Father, we thank you right now for this fresh anointing. And Father, even though I, I named off names as far as for healing on their body uh, and pleading your blood over your entire church, Father, every soul that has heard your voice through my mouth, Father God, I plead your blood and I declare healing over their bodies, Father. I don't limit you, Father God. There's, there's those, Father God, that, that I may never meet, I may never even talk to, but Father God, your beloved church is interceding is praying is lifting them up father we're lifting up lifting them up by name right now lord jesus christ and we speak healing right now over their body and it's in jesus christ's mighty and holy name and all god's beloved said amen hallelujah praise god god bless you guys amen hallelujah give somebody a high five amen give yourself a high five if you're by yourself amen and don't forget the angels hallelujah praise god don't forget the angels amen and um i i just love I just love just worshiping Lord Jesus Christ, just sitting at his feet, amen, putting no other thought in anything else other than how much God loves me, how much God loves you, amen. And when you meditate on that, oh my goodness, doesn't life get gooder and gooder, amen. I'm surrounded by beloved worshipers, worshipers of Father God in spirit, Holy Spirit in truth, that Jesus Christ is Lord, he is perfect, amen. And I love it when you're in fellowship and, oh my goodness, you hear. And this is why it's so important. Amen. I am thankful that God give us the wisdom to have worship service throughout the week that we don't skip a beat. Amen. We never, we never did. In Jesus' name. We do everything unto Lord Jesus Christ. And God has all the glory, honor, and praise for all of eternity. We don't touch it, family, right? We don't touch it. And I'm so thankful that we, we faithfully do what God has called us to do. However, we also know how important it is that as we're faithfully worshiping God, you know, just spending time in the secret place, in, 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 in just conversations, in everything, we also know that Holy Spirit has charged us as his holy church to come together, to fellowship, amen, to bless one another, amen. Glory to God. There's so many this past Sunday that came, I haven't seen him in a long time, 
and God blessed them with such peace and a fresh anointing. Hallelujah. And that only comes, amen, through, say it with me, fellowship. Praise God. Fellowship. Amen. So I'd like for you to, to think, I'd like for you to think about the last time you spoke something and it came into existence. It manifested. It came to fruition. I want you to think about the last time you spoke something and the next thing you know, it happened. Amen. And praise God, now that you have that thought in your mind, right? I want you to truly give to God all that you think that you know about what we're going to cover because Holy Spirit wants us to focus on agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen? And remember, the worship service title for this evening is Miracles, Healing, Breakthrough, right? Deliverance, amen? Hallelujah. But of course, we titled it Healing, amen? But as you know, there's many things that take place in healing. God heals, whether it's over time, amen? God heals, amen? God heals, whether it's instant miracles, amen? That's why we said miracles, right? Praise God. And hallelujah, witnessed many, many, many of us, amen? I witnessed God heal miraculous things that normally would take surgeries, operations, even terminal diseases that this world titled and gave it a name to, amen? Lord Jesus Christ completely rebuked it through his blood and Holy Spirit has healed individuals, amen? Remember, it's all his holy and precious name, Lord Jesus Christ, amen? It's all his presence, praise God. And this is, once again, this is the importance of fellowship, of, of being able, isn't it amazing? We live in this world now where you can't just, right, touch somebody, right? Distance, distance, right? And isn't that interesting, right, that it, 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 it puts fear on people that you, you, may, you may give me cooties, right? Rebuke that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Did Lord Jesus Christ walk this earth and say, oh, don't touch me, you're a leper? Don't touch me, you're an adulterer? Don't touch me, your blood is dirty? See, we have to get true real quickly now before we get into the written word of God, amen, we have to stay true to who we truly are in Lord Jesus Christ. You see, this is the beauty of our anointing in Holy Spirit. God himself who lives in us, amen, continues to encourage us, continues to rebuke things that this world, that the enemy tries to deposit, right, in God's holy ground. Uh-uh. Amen. And here is Holy Spirit saying, no more. Amen. Say that with me. No more in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you ready? Hallelujah. I am ready. Praise God. So we're going to be in Mark 11. Praise God. And uh, in Mark 11, we're going to go ahead and start in, uh, in verse 12. And uh, let's just start right there and uh, we'll take it wherever the Holy Spirit wants us to. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves because it was not season for figs. Then he said to the tree, may no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard him say it. Now, glory to God. Holy Spirit just reminded me and wants to teach us quickly that here is Lord Jesus Christ. And you heard the written word of God describe that he was hungry. Amen. Hungry. And so he approached this fig tree and the fig tree already had leaves. But guess what? It wasn't the season yet. So there was no fruit on that fig tree. So Jesus spoke that, and let's repeat it, may no one ever eat fruit from you again. Amen? Bottom line, may no one ever eat fruit from you again. Right? Done. And what we have to keep in mind that when we read the written word of God and we, we're taken back to the, to, to the story, whether it's the terrain, whether it's the, 
the environment, whether it's the, the parable, whether it's a story, whether it's different characters that, that, that God has written in his word, we have to keep in mind that Holy Spirit, God who is alive in us, he is our only teacher. Can I get an amen? Amen? And isn't it amazing that the Bible would clearly say that because it was not the season for figs. Amen? You know, Lord Jesus Christ said that I will come as a thief in the night. Which means no one knows when that trumpet is going to come on, right? It's going to blow off, right? No one knows the time, amen? No one knows. No one knows when their last breath will be. God does. No one knows when their last breath will be. Amen? And so it's important for us, if you have Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, Holy Spirit, say His name, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit in you and in me, He is the one that produces fruit. Amen? In every season, God will produce fruit as long as we want Him. Amen? You know, I just spoke to a beloved earlier today, and, I, and, and we both agreed. We both agreed. It was a serious, uh, it, it was serious, it was amazing, it was an awesome uh, fellowship, worship, counseling session, whatever you want to name it, it doesn't matter. I always call it a worship service, praise God. No matter what, it's a worship service. Why? Because Lord Jesus Christ is the center, amen? And Holy Spirit's wisdom and anointing flows through beloved children, amen? And it's in this flow that we both agreed and we said it out loud, God doesn't push, God does not push himself on anybody. God is a merciful, good, perfect, loving father beyond anything good that we can think of, amen? Think of somebody good, whether it's, you, your, maybe it's your mom or your daddy, amen? Maybe it's your wife or your husband, maybe it's your children, I don't know, but think of somebody good right now. Now compare that good to God, you can't. There's many of you that's like, you can't. Now that doesn't take away anything from that person, right? From being good, because they are good. Hallelujah, they are. And it's all the goodness of God flowing through them, amen? Because he's the only one good. But don't you love that thought that God is just beyond what we can possibly comprehend and imagine, amen? And so we have to keep in mind that when God is asking us, will you spend time with me, right? Will you fellowship with me, right? Will you listen to my Holy Spirit that's speaking to you in doing something for me, right? Remember, because faith without works is dead, amen? And last time I checked, it takes work. It takes work. We, t we discussed it Sunday morning. We had a good laugh. We had a good laugh. And God loves to laugh, amen? But isn't it the truth? Isn't it exposing the devil that on a Sunday morning, your bed is so comfortable, right? Sunday morning, it's like, oh, just five more minutes, right? Right? It takes work. Can I get an amen? Can you say, work with me? Work. Hallelujah. And God is saying, do work. You got faith. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. He is the faith, amen? And now, through Lord Jesus Christ, you have Holy Spirit in you and in me to do the good work, amen? Because he's the only one good. Hallelujah. Oh, let's give God praise, amen? So praise God, I thought we were going to go through the rest of it, but Holy Spirit says he wants to jump to verse 22. So Mark 11, verse 22. Amen. Healing. Say that with me. Healing. Praise God. Healing. You know what? Let's start in verse 20. Thank you, Lord. Verse 20. In the morning. Say that with me. In the morning. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots. Just completely dried up from top to bottom. Remember, remember, when they passed through, there was leaves on this fig tree, but it wasn't in season, right? And Lord Jesus Christ spoke. That's it, you're done, dead, cursed, no more, right? No more. Here's God Almighty, amen, wanting fruit, hungry, right? Hungry, say that with me, hungry. See, there's some of us right now that's hungry for healing. Amen? Hungry for healing. Praise God. You're, you, you, the temple of Holy Spirit, your body is, is perfect. Amen? And, and there's nothing wrong. Hallelujah! But guess what? There's somebody that you know. There's somebody that you, you know that can use 
a miracle, a blessing, a healing from the Lord. Amen? So right now, keep them in mind. Say their name and declare healing over their body. Amen? Oh, this is incredible. Watch what God is going to do. I can't wait to hear all the testimony of the glory of God in a beloved child. Hallelujah. I cannot wait. Amen? Woo! So in the morning as they walked along, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots. Peter remembered, Peter remembered what Lord Jesus Christ said. And he said, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you cursed has withered. Amen. Don't you love moments like that? Praise God. Praise God. You could just hear Peter going, hey, Lord, Lord, Rabbi, God, look. Right? And I know many of you have done it right now, but could you imagine? I know Holy Spirit, hallelujah. And you could just imagine agape walking on this earth, perfection, hallelujah, perfection. But you also know our Father God is funny, amen, so funny, you know. You just, you're just in awe as far as God's humor, right? And uh, I, I just love moments like this because <laughs> I, I just see my Lord Jesus Christ going, all the things that you've seen and right and and I love it because it brings the attention back to what transpired in the conversation that agape say it with me agape who is agape father son holy spirit it takes the written word back the attention now is no longer going on the attention now is the emphasis is look at what happened to this fig tree, amen? Now we're gonna get into, hallelujah, the red letters, amen? Say that with me, red letters, amen? Verse 22, agape, Lord Jesus Christ himself says, have faith in God. I tell you the truth, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore, <laughs> amen, it's there for a reason, amen. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him, so that your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's just give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank God for red letters. Amen. So immediately right now, Lord Jesus Christ, immediately, immediately he clearly states to all his disciples who I am. Right? Who I am. See, we could read the written word of God in any translation you want, and I know it says have faith in God. But remember, Lord Jesus Christ, God himself is speaking this through the Holy One, Lord Jesus Christ, and who is our faith. Amen? Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? So you could just see, picture it, sitting on the mountainside, sitting right there at the feet of Lord Jesus Christ, right? Right there, and you can see the, just this dead fig tree, right? Just withered up. And Lord Jesus Christ standing there in all of his glory, saying, have faith in God. Beloved church family, right here, Holy Spirit wants to deposit life-changing revelation beyond what we can comprehend, think, understand, study. Let Holy Spirit teach, because he's our only teacher, amen? That when we talk about faith, it is only through Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Only. It's not in doctors. It's not in the upcoming surgery. It's not in all this medicine. It's not in the therapy. It's not in the counselor. It's not in... I don't care. We have to have faith in God. And He is the only way, truth, and life... And all Lord Jesus Christ is saying right now, focus on me. Focus on your faith. Amen? Now, hear me now. 
I know some of you right now are battling right now because you're like, well, Brother Joy, there's more to this. Yes, but stop. Amen? Just stop. Just stay focused with me, hang in there with me, and understand this. There is no faith if there's no Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. There's God, agape, right? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, God, and there's the devil. Amen? There is no in-between. Rebuke that. You know there's a lot of cults right now that want to teach that. That there's an in-between place, a floating place, right? Like a waiting room. What? What? I want to tell you, it's this vapor of a life. That's the, that's the middle place. We're waiting to be raptured out of here. Can I get a hallelujah? Amen. We're waiting, amen, for God to call us back home when we hear that trumpet sound. Amen. But don't, don't be deceived. Don't allow, don't allow this devil to creep into your heart for you to put faith in something else other than Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen, I know God has blessed us with medicine, with doctors and nurses. God bless them. Even through everything that this world is going through, God bless them. Put a hedge of protection over them. Amen. Amen. I pray in Jesus' name that, that many of them, amen, these essential workers, many of them, hallelujah, that in their, in their time of service, you know, to, to, to be a blessing, that, that they cried out to Lord Jesus. I pray that. Amen. I pray, I pray that for every soul. Amen. Because God loves, say it with me, church. <laughs> Everybody, amen? So we have to get that straight and forward. Have faith in God. Here's Lord Jesus Christ saying, have faith. Have me. Have me in God. Because I'm the only way. That's what Lord Jesus Christ is telling everybody. I'm the only way. And I'm going to explain to you what took place here. But you have to understand this first. Amen? I pray in Jesus' name that there are souls right now that's listening to this message. And maybe you've been running away from Lord Jesus Christ, right? Maybe you, you just denied him. Maybe you said, I don't want. But right now, Holy Spirit, right now, he's pounding on the doors of your heart. Beloved church family, let's pray for them. Heavenly Father, right now, your beloved child is listening to your words. And I pray, Holy Spirit, right now, that as your beloved child opens that door, I pray, Father, that that beloved child says out of their lips, from their heart, I need you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Save me. Heal me. Amen. So let's continue on. Praise God. When, when Lord Jesus Christ taught his disciples, and we are all his disciples, we are his beloved children, that when he says, I tell you the truth, that anyone says to this mountain, go and throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt, believes in his heart, right? That what he says will happen. Once again, this may seem like this may seem like that it's all doing actions. However, we have to keep in mind the glory of God. That because God believed in you and in me, when He spoke, "Let there be, let there be light." Amen. Say that with me. Let there be light. God believed in all His heart that you would be His beloved child. That you would worship Him. No matter what situation or circumstance, no matter how crazy this fallen world is acting, God believed in, in the holy of holies because he is holy. He is mighty. He's God almighty. God believed in him that when he spoke, when he spoke, let there be light, he spoke you into existence. He spoke me into existence. Hallelujah. And this is what Lord Jesus Christ is saying. This is what Lord Jesus Christ said. If you truly believe and you speak, this will happen. And so what is this mountain, right? Praise God. What is this mountain that Lord Jesus Christ is referring to? Go throw yourself, speaking to the mountain and saying, go throw yourself into the sea. Amen. And then God takes it even further and says, if you believe it in your heart, right? If you believe it, it shall happen. In your life. Amen. And then of course it goes on further in verse 25. And when you stand praying and you hold anything against anyone. Forgive him so that your father in heaven will forgive your sins. Right. So let's address quickly now. When God spoke speak to this mountain. 
and it shall be casted into the sea. When Lord Jesus Christ spoke to the fig tree, did the fig tree immediately, like that, shrivel up and die? Now, we have to be careful. Amen? Say when we be careful. Because God, hallelujah, he can do anything. The only thing he cannot do is lie. Amen? But God can make anything happen. He's God Almighty. Amen? Creator of the heaven and the universe. Hallelujah. Agape. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen? Just like that, God can do it. But the reason why it didn't happen is because it, it, it's divinely orchestrated by Holy Spirit so that it is recorded in the written Holy Bible of God. Amen? That Lord Jesus Christ could teach us right now through his anointing in Holy Spirit. That even though it did not happen when he spoke it right there at that moment, could you imagine? Could you imagine at that moment when Lord Jesus Christ cursed the fig tree and you're walking with him? And, you know, we're all just walking. Hallelujah. All of Open Arms Community Church walking with Lord Jesus. Praise God. That's what we do every day. Amen. Individually because of Holy Spirit. But I'm taking us back to that moment. Right. And then you could you, you, you could see that Lord Jesus Christ is hungry. Amen. And my Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. Hallelujah. My Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. He is the son of God. Amen. He fulfilled everything that God wanted and required. Amen. And because of his perfection, when he died, hallelujah, that veil is torn in half. Hallelujah. And what does that signify? Amen. There is no more separation between a beloved child of God. Hallelujah. And Father God himself. Agape. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. That's who my Lord Jesus Christ is. And many of you know, amen, many of you know, in this sense of humor, you could just... You could just see it. Lord Jesus Christ going, I'm hungry. Right? I'm hungry. Right? And you could, you, you could see the anticipation that, oh, well, there's a fig tree right there, Lord. Amen? There's a fig tree. You want me to go get it? And Lord Jesus Christ, no, I got it. Y'all be blessed. You know, just, just rejoice. Hallelujah. Rejoice! Amen? And Lord Jesus Christ goes up to the fig tree, sees what is not there, and he speaks this. Could you imagine... All of us disciples, all of God's children looking at each other going, did he just speak to that tree? Right? Maybe some saying, he must be really hungry because he spoke to that tree and he was mad. Right? And you got to remember the tone because if we continued on, right, if we continued on, they go to the temple, amen, and you know what transpired at the temple. And I leave that to you to, you know, for you and Holy Spirit to worship fellowship, you know what I mean? And, and through worship, Holy Spirit will give you more and more, gooder and gooder, amen? But remember, you hear Lord Jesus Christ speak those words, speak those words, speak those words, believing it in his heart, speaking those words to this fig tree, amen? But yet, in the natural Okay, um, let's just go on to the temple. In the natural, nothing happened. But, say with me, but God, amen? That's a big but now, hallelujah. <laughs> the next morning, verse 20, right? The next morning, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots withered from the roots and of course that's where we were talking about Peter remembered Lord right we get in a habit that we speak things we speak things and it's just right now that's taking place in this very time and unfortunately sometimes the things that are spoken is not always life-giving words it's not always lined up with the Word of God. And then we wonder why later on down the road we start harvesting things that the fruit is not Holy Spirit's fruit. You see, right now God has given us this anointing. Say it with me, anointing. Say, say it gooder, anoint me Lord. Hallelujah. God is giving us the anointing through our worship life and relationship with God the Father. In what Lord Jesus Christ has demonstrated as he walked this earth, as he wrote in the Holy Bible, and through the promised gift of Holy Spirit, his peace that is living in you and in me, 
God right now is giving us the anointing to be able to speak healing over ourselves and over one another. And it's constant speaking of healing and blessings. Because once again, when Lord Jesus Christ teaches and blesses us with this wisdom, that you say to this mountain, get up, go into the sea. Guess what? God says, if you believe it, you will have it. Amen? So right now, as a declaration of faith in obedience to Lord Jesus Christ, in complete submission to Holy Spirit within, we're going to say these words, and glory to you, Heavenly Father, I thank you for the words, every word that you give for me to speak in obedience to your living word within through Christ our Lord. Amen? To lift your hands with me, amen? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, I speak to every cell that is not life-producing in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. I speak to every cell, Father God, that is trying to come against your body. I command that cell to die in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. And Father God, that this temple only produces Holy Spirit cells in Jesus' name. Father God, I speak to the migraines, and Father God, I command the life-giving thing of that to be cursed in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. That if it's depression or worry or anxiety, I command that thing to leave the body in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, to be casted to the pit of hell. Father God, I speak right now to emotions that don't line up to your fruit, Holy Spirit. I speak right now, Father God, to the demonic things that try to fuel these emotions. And Father God, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, through the anointing of your Holy Spirit, I command this thing to die, Father God, and to be casted into the pit of hell. Heavenly Father, I speak right now to this addiction of every foul and garbage thing from the evil one, Father God. Anything, Father God, that puts temptation, anything, Father God, that puts lust, anything that tries to put control over your beloved child, I curse that thing right now in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. And I command that thing to be casted to the pit of hell. Don't get lazy in the presence of Holy Spirit, in the presence of agape. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, beloved church family. And say it with me. I boldly declare that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. And in this faith, Holy Spirit, I thank you for your presence to overflow within me, my family, my church, my community, and on this fallen world. And it's in Jesus Christ's name I pray. And all God's beloved said, amen, hallelujah. Woo! God bless you guys, praise God. Oh, hallelujah, just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name, amen. Please visit oacchurch.com, amen, oacchurch.com. I thank God for the seeds that you're sowing to support the ministry, amen. Please, um, at, there's an offering tab there you can give uh, electronically, and it is secure, praise God. And um, I just want to say once again, thank you so much for your obedience. Thank you so much for fighting, fighting. It is a fight, amen? It is a fight. Get out of this, amen? Get out of this, protect this, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you are my God, amen? I will not entertain any thoughts. I cast that right now into the pit, amen? And I thank Lord Jesus Christ for a fresh anointing over his holy church, amen? God is head over heels in love with you, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, I thank God for you every day. Trisha and I, we pray for you all every day, Pastor. Pastor Mary, we just, we pray for you all every day. We just thank God. And I'm just so excited as far as in this new season that we're in. Amen? Amen? Remember, if God could get it through you, amen, if God could get it through you, 
God will continue to flood you. Amen? So pr praise God that we continue to be obedient and bless God and be a blessing to him first. Amen? And his presence will overflow on, on, on each other. Amen? God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen? I love you, beloved church family. God bless you. Hallelujah. Rejoice! Mwah!